To quote every realtor who has ever lived, it's all about location, location, location. Or how a 17th century French mathematician continues to influence American infrastructure. Let's start by considering a contemporary problem in the United States. Suppose we have three cities, Bolt, Cranny, and Ravencliff. And because of population growth in these cities, we need to build an electrical substation to serve the residents in the area. So the question becomes, where do we locate that building while minimizing the amount of cable running to the cities? It would probably help to create a coordinate system to analyze the problem. We'll return to this problem later in the video. For now, we need to see how that 17th century mathematician figures into our story. Of course, the mathematician we're talking about is Pierre de Fermat, a mathematician known for his brilliance at frustrating fellow mathematicians. In particular, he would frequently send perplexing problems to his contemporaries, including this conundrum. Friend Torricelli, I send you this challenge of finding the single point within an acute triangle whereby the total distance to the vertices is minimal. Challenge initiated. The recipient of this note was Evangelista Torricelli, a physicist and a mathematician from Italy. By the way, Torricelli is most famous for inventing the atmospheric barometer. Now, his response to Fermat's challenge was to determine an interior point that was equal angular to the three vertices of the triangle. Sending his response in very short order led to a bit of upset for Fermat, who was not expecting such a swift solution, leading Fermat, the drama queen that he was, to issue his greatest challenge the infamous Fermat's last theorem, scribbled with an accompanying note that his proof was too large to fit in the margin of the page he was studying. Of course, now we doubt that Fermat truly was able to prove the statement because the statement remained a conjecture until 1995 with a formal proof authored by Andrew Wiles. And surprisingly, just a few years later after Wiles, Homer seems to have blown Fermat and Wiles' proof to bits. Hmm. Can you, Homer, or can't you, Fermat and Wiles? Let's get back to our earlier problem. But we'll go by a strange route. First, by attempting to find the location of a point inside a quadrilateral that will minimize the sum of its distances to the quadrilateral's vertices. So it seems as if the intersection point of the diagonals is the point we're searching for. To prove, however, that F is the point producing minimal distance, consider any other interior point of the quadrilateral ABCD. Now, let's focus on triangle AEC, and in particular, compare AF plus FC to AE plus EC. Likewise, let's also look at triangle BED and compare BF plus FD to BE plus ED. So now we know that AF plus FC, that diagonal AC, added to BF plus FD, diagonal AB, is a minimal sum. So, we can find the interior point within a quadrilateral that will minimize the sum of the distances to its vertices, but we need to take another detour before we can show that Torricelli was correct in thinking that the equilangular point is the solution to Fermat's challenge. And this detour involves a special property of equilateral triangles. So, Let's start with an equilateral triangle and any interior point. Now, construct perpendiculars from D to each side of the triangle. Finally, we'll want to calculate the sum of these perpendicular distances from D. 
whew, this is all getting a bit fuzzy. And much as you may dislike it, I'm leaving you with a cliffhanger. And we'll continue working on this challenge face to face. But I will show you the location for the substation. Until next time.